Hello, I'm Joe Silvera, part of the teaching staff at Silvera Jewelry School here in Berkeley, California. And today I'm going to show you how quickly you can modify a raw bench pin to make it more useful. Now bench pins have been in use for hundreds, maybe thousands of years. They've been used to help jewelers hold their work while they're making jewelry. So you need to change it to make it easier for you to do different tasks. Every jeweler customizes a bench pin their own way. So I'm just gonna show you some basic ones and feel free to add your own. The great thing is replacement bench pins are inexpensive. So they're very easy to change out as you discover new ways to modify them to make them even better tools to help you work. So I'll take this one out and put this new one in. And I've already drawn on it different areas that I want to cut out. So uh, let's look at some of the basic tools I'm going to use to do it. Uh, I have a jeweler saw frame and I'm using a spiral saw blade like you would use for sawing wax. It works great on wood. If you don't have one of these, that's okay. With the saw frame that you normally use, you can use a number two saw blade like you would use for metal. That will work just fine. The spiral saw blade just works a little bit faster. I also have a couple of coarse files, uh, such as you would use for maybe lost wax work, uh, that I'm okay with working with for wood. So I have a uh, double-ended file that's uh, raspy on one end and a little bit less coarse on the other, and I have a key file in a half round shape. So these would be handy for modifying my bench pin. First thing I'm going to do is cut out some areas. So I'm going to create various areas to do filing and what we call a back capture, and I'll explain those in a bit. So I've drawn my design on here, and I'm going to just line up my saw blade. And cut out this notch on the side. I'm going to cut out a little half circle here on the end, being careful to leave the points here, they're handy for holding items. Make another one here, this is going to be a back capture. This already came with a nice big opening on this side for doing some other work. This isn't going to be as handy for me as a, as a right-handed person, but for a lefty, this is a great area to do some filing. And I like to make a little stub sticking out here to hold rings and different objects for filing. So I marked out a little bit of the bench pin I want to leave sticking out, and I'm going to cut away these little corners. going to modify the top here so that it's a sharper point so that's better for piercing for me so I have an area when I'm doing small work that I can really move up and have more support and in fact I like a little hole a small hole up here so that um, I can move the saw blade around a little bit more freely but also still have support when I'm holding my metal down so for that, I'm going to use my flex shaft with a 1 8 inch drill bit, and I'm going to drill that out. And then I'm going to take a household drill, like this power drill, and I'm going to open that up to a quarter inch. So that gives me a little round opening up at the top to do my work. And I can come back in with the saw and some files and use that to clean up any of these areas. 
They're a little bit rough to start with, but I think that'll be nice. And now um, I prefer a bench pan that's flat on top for when I do my piercing. It's a little bit easier to gauge right angles that way. So I like to make a little um, slanted part here for when I want to hold metal at an angle while I'm filing. So um, we're going to come over here with file like this, rasp, and file this at an angle. So I'm talking about 45 degrees. all the way to the, the bottom of the bench pan. I want to leave a little bit for strength there, but I will take my key file that's half round and open this up a little bit. And I'll slant that back a little too. And that makes it nice if you're trying to hold something to do some work on it, like to do some filing. It makes it easier for you to hold that in place, angle it the way you want to angle it, and work on it. In fact, it's also handy to have some little shallow notches here, maybe one on this side, and a thinner one on this side. So for this one, I'll use a smaller file. So these are for placing wire. so that you can hold them steady. If you've ever tried to file on the end of a piece of wire, you know that it can move on you a lot while you're trying to file. So if I can place it down into this groove, then it stays steady while I'm working on it. And this will work for larger wire here. Okay, and we're gonna modify this side. Remember, this, the idea of this stub here is to help me hold a ring so that I can file over it like that. So um, I'm going to modify the top of this a little bit to round it. So first I'm going to bring it down slightly so I have a little ledge. So it's down a little bit so I have a little ledge to hold the ring in place. So I have something to push against. Then I'll round it a little bit like this. That gives it a good start. So then I can hold a ring there to do my work. So if I want to put a ring on like this and do a little bit of work on the bumpers, it lets me get right in there and hold that steady while I do my work like that. All right. So some other modifications here, and we can come in and clean up any little hairy bits of wood that are hanging out here. Um, so I like to have like a little groove across the top here. Hold on, I cannot stand this little V not being sharp. Okay. So I'm going to have a little groove across the top here, again, uh, at the top, excuse me, so across the top here, to hold a wire down at a right angle so that I can put it out and file it and keep it from rolling around on me. So I drew a line at a right angle, I'm going to take my saw frame and use that to Pull along that line slowly at first so I can be accurate. Okay, so that starts it. And then I can open that up with like a triangular file, a tri corner. That helps you get into the middle part where it's a little bit harder to dig it out because the, the blade bows on that bench pin, so you're mostly sawing the corners. But it gives you a nice groove to get started with. That's already looking pretty good. And I can open it up with a round one. So it has a little bit more of the U-shaped profile I'd want for the bottom of the wire. So 
So now if I put some stock in there that's round, so that holds that nice and steady for me so it doesn't move. And then I can do my filing on the side here without it going anywhere. A back capture, if you're wondering, that's what we did here where we made a little backwards V in there, is to give you some, a little bit of help getting the saw blade started. So if I take my saw blade and I put it inside that V there, so this is the smooth back of the saw blade, then I can press my metal against that while the blade is held in place and it's much easier to get started. So now I've got a little groove in there. So when I go to get into the piece and start sawing, it's much easier. I've got that groove in place. So I can get right into the metal and start sawing. Another handy tool that you can have on your benchman. Of course, I like these to look a little pretty. So I'll come in and get rid of any little rough parts with a smoother file. And you can clean your files with a file cleaning card if you want to also use them for wood, uh, excuse me, for metal. So you can scrub them like so to clean up any of that wood. Although uh, it's not really going to bother your metal work. If you're using these for wax, you want to clean out all the wood so that you don't contaminate your wax with wood shavings when you're working. Always angle the file cleaning card into the direction of the teeth on your file so that you're scrubbing. So this is cleaning your file cleaning card. This is cleaning your file, that is. And this is filing your file cleaning card. So make sure you're getting in there and doing proper work so you're not ruining one or both tools. I hope you enjoyed these tips today about modifying your bench pen, and I hope that you use them to modify your jewelry space to make it a better space for you. Thanks again.